with the Susan Sonnenmaker with sunisthefuture.net. I'm here with Martin Brook, who's been a very important element of this whole World Solar Challenge race behind the scene. And we would like Martin Brook to tell us a little bit more about what he is interested in. Well, this is how I actually got started in uh, solar car racing. This is a model solar car that I built in 2006 and raced in Victoria and then on in the national event. Uh, finished top 16 in the country and picked up Best Engineered Car Award. And that's what got me into solar car racing initially. Um, yep. um, the model itself uh, is worth about $600. Um, normally high schools build them in Australia in teams of four or five and we're currently working with the World Solar Challenge to rebuild the South Australian competition which has unfortunately stopped running. Um, it's a big part of what we believe in as a team, getting students involved in solar and green and engineering. Um, these cars actually share a lot in common with their larger solar car cousins and one of the first things I thought, oh, that's alright it's meant to do that, um, it concludes some design features and I might pull it apart and bring it back in shot. Cockpit away. Here we are. Alright, returning to the car. Um, this car is called Dreamliner. It was finished well before the Boeing 787 was, so no similarities there. Um, inside the car there's an electronics unit that is actually a PowerPoint tracker and pulse width modulated motor control. Exactly the same, well motor control is a bit different, but similar to the setups in the actual solar cars themselves. We have solar cells, 6.7 watts on this particular car. Um, weight's critical, so you can see the carbon fibre beams that make up the chassis and carbon fibre tubing. Um, so it's all the same science and it's a great opportunity for students to have a low budget way of getting involved in solar car racing. So the hope is that in two years time we'll have the national finals of Australian national model solar car finals here at the end of the World Solar Challenge in Victoria Square like has happened in the past. And if any of your enthusiasts out there would like to also participate and become involved with a solar race of a different kind please contact Martin Brook and tell us how they can get in touch with you. Um, just visit our website, aurorasolarcar.com, and go to contact us and choose the educational outreach team. All right. Thank you very much, Martin. You're and we welcome. will be looking forward to oh, another kind of race. And uh, take care. Signing off, Susan Sandana Baker with sundays.thefuture.net, and have a wonderful day.